Thank you again for coming tonight and sharing your questions and concerns with us. Last week, in Sunday on the Times, my opponent said he and I have a lot in common and that we agree on most issues. That is not true. Here are the reasons you should vote for me. One, pension reform is absolutely necessary and I support it. Two, public safety will be a high priority for me. And three, I will be an independent voice for the people of San Diandro and the City Council. Let me explain on pension reform. I'm asking for city employees to share with the city the cost of their pensions. Yes, all of us pay into the cost of our pensions, so should city employees. Less than two years ago, my opponent voted to approve new contracts with the city. Employees that continue to have the city pay 100% of the cost of employee pensions. This was a fiscally responsible decision. On public safety, our police force is understaffed. I will work to hire more police officers through the savings we achieve with pension reform. My opponent promised, our pro my opponent promised four years ago we would make San Leandro a safer. Do any of you feel safer today than four years ago? On being an independent voice, I will have only one boss, the people of San Leandro. My opponent has over his time in public office taken thousands of dollars in campaign contributions from city employee groups and always voted away who wanted him to vote on key issues. The Daily Review endorsed my campaign to be, to be the next city council member and I have the support of Mayor Stephen Cassidy. It's time for change at City Hall, not 10 years of same council member. San Leandro needs leaders who understand the problems and are willing to fix them. In conclusion, I pledge to work hard, act with integrity, listen and be responsive to the diverse needs of our community, and always put the people of San Leandro first. Thank you. Wow. Where'd that come from? I think my opponent is entitled to his own opinion, but not his own facts. Um, I've done a lot. There's more work to be done. I have a proven record of working in a collaborative style to bring people together to get things done. Your council member, I will continue to prioritize public safety, bring new businesses to our city, partner with our schools for educational excellence, take care of our seniors, keep our libraries open, and continue on the path to fiscal stability. I believe I have a better track record of fiscal stability than my opponent. The state took millions from the city, just like they took millions from the public schools. He voted to spend all of the school's one-time money, leaving them with only a 3% state-mandated reserve. I voted to spend some of our one-time money, and now the city has an 18% reserve. I love San Leandro, and I'm proud to have served you the last few years. I consider myself socially progressive, but fiscally conservative. I have been endorsed by police and fire, I am endorsed by the Sierra Club. I'm the sole endorsement of the Alameda County Democratic Party. I'm endorsed by the California Nurses Association because I've been fighting hard to save the Haas San Leandro Hospital. I've been before the Board of Supervisors testifying on their behalf. I've been endorsed by Ellen Corbett, our state senator. I've been endorsed by Rob Bonta and Abdel Gillian both, the, the two assembly people that were speaking before you earlier tonight. I've been endorsed by Michael Gregory, the Vice Mayor, Pauline Cutter, the San Leandro City Council Mayor, and dozens of, of former City Council Mayors. I've also actually been endorsed by all six members of the school board that served with my opponent. And if Mr. Armani would endorse me, that would make it unanimous. And uh, so anyway, I hope I can count on you for support as we move San Leandro into an even better future. Thank you very much, and thank you for...